a very good evening and welcome to a royal disgruntled Danny. Tomorrow sees the wedding of Prince Harry and Miss Meghan Markle and many of us Brits will be feeling very patriotic and people overseas and may wish to display bunting or flags. I just want to give a quick demonstration on the correct way to do this. Firstly, many people think the British flag is called the Union Jack. It is not. It's called the Union Flag. It's only the Union Jack when flown from the jack mast of a ship. So with the aid of this sock, I will demonstrate the correct way to hang the Union Flag. If this is the flagpole on the left, these red stripes should be facing the bottom of this part of the flag. If they're facing the top, you are flying your flag upside down, which of course is a sign of surrender, which is something the British very rarely do. In fact, the entire history of the British Isles is this one tiny mad little nation going up to every other country in the world going, Do you want some? Do you want to fight? Do you want to fight? And generally winning. But tomorrow is going to be a momentous day because Ms Meghan Markle is divorced, American and mixed race. So as of tomorrow, the British royal family is a mixed race family. And if Meghan and Harry go on to have children, which is entirely their choice, then it's in the bloodline forever. The royal family is changing hugely tomorrow. And a lot of people have been saying to me recently, well, what do you, what do you think of Meghan, really? You know, she's divorced. What you, well, so what, she's divorced? She's fucking gorgeous. She makes Harry look so happy. And given that for a long time, Harry was pretty much the the screw up of the royal family. Every photo of him was you know, drunk at a party or dressed as a Nazi one time. But he was a young man and he'd lost his mother and now he's happy, so that's good enough. Although what a, I really do love, which I've mentioned before, is that Meghan Markle, before becoming involved with Prince Harry, is best known for um, her role in the drama series Suits, which in this country aired on the uh, television channel Dave and 80% of what Dave show is repeats of Top Gear. And I think Suits used to be on at 11 o'clock on a Thursday night. But another program that Meghan was in was of course the um, crime drama Castle in which she played a murderess. And that's uh, truly poetic. She was in Castle and now she's marrying a bloke who's got several.